Hello everyone and welcome to the Emma Esparrientos Mexican American Cultural Center online educational programming. I'm Cassie Smith. I'm a teaching artist at the MAC as we call it here in Austin, Texas. Today we're going to be talking about an art project, a series of art projects about Ali Brijes, a Mexican folk art tradition. This lesson works in coordination with a series of text-based lesson plans that are online. If you found this video, then the lesson plans are nearby. Take a look at those before you begin the video, after you do the video, and before you begin to teach. Um, they will help you with some of the um, supplemental materials for this lesson. In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about our Smithsonian Learning Lab collection dedicated to Ali Brijes. The history of Ali Brijes, and also I'm going to describe three different art projects that you can do with your students or children at home or in the classroom. First, let's talk about the Smithsonian Learning Lab. This is an online collection of digital resources. We are an affiliate with the Smithsonian, so we have uploaded images from our permanent installation called Uprooted Dreams. And in this collection, you're going to see images of each individual Ali Brije and also find some videos to the project. This is a project that Margarita Cabrera, a visual artist, did in collaboration with Arts in Public Places. And she invited two master artisans from Mexico, Sergio Santiago Ibanez, who is a master wood carver and alibrije maker, and his wife, Luz, Lucila or Luz Salsa Loria, to come and help different participants make Ali Brijes and learn this process. And these participants were selected from the immigrant community in Austin. They were not, not necessarily artists themselves, but they worked in the project with Luz and Sergio to make the Ali Brijes. And they learned everything from the design to collecting their wood from Roy Guerrero Park right here in Austin, to sanding their Ali Brijes and also presenting them to the public. And now these are a permanent wood carving installation at the MAC Education Department. So if you get a chance when we're open, please stop by and take a look at the exhibit. It's really cool. In this lesson plan, you're also going to learn the, about the origin of Ali Brijes and this term Ali Brije that were, was literally dreamt up by Pedro Linares, a uh, paper mache artist um, who lived in Mexico in the 1900s and the story about Pedro Linares that we have um, created is attached to this lesson plan as well so feel free to read that aloud to your students or to your children and a lot of the projects are based on that so in the rest of this video I'm going to take you through three different projects that you could do with Ali Brijes I've separated into them into different age groups but I think that all of them could be adapted to fit any age group and even adults if you're so inclined. Here, the first one is going to be a pop-up Ali Brije card. The next one's going to be an Ali Brije storyboard that illustrates the story of Pedro Linares. And finally, um, a found object Ali Brije making project where you can find found objects in nature and create your own Ali Brijes. The first project in this collection is an Ali Brije pop-up card, and this is a good project for young children, but also can be more advanced for older children as well. Attached to this lesson plan, you will find a series of printouts with various Ali Brijes, and I printed these out from amoalibrijes.com. The information is also here in this video and in the lesson plans, and I shrunk them so they would be more accessible in the cards, but you can feel free to print out the coloring sheets, make oversized pop-up cards, cards as you wish. The next step is to gather your materials. Once you have the printouts, you also need construction paper, glue, glitter, paint, any other craft supplies you have around that might be good for decorating the card. These can be found objects, anything that will fit in there. I like to use cotton balls for the clouds. I, you can see here that I use construction paper to cut the grass. Really, whatever you have on hand will be great. And it's always awesome to lay out these materials for the students so they can see what they have to work with. The next thing you're going to do is have each child select an Ali Brije and also a piece of construction paper. The students will fold the construction paper in half and along the folded side they're going to cut two slits from an inch to an inch and a half long 
with the crease still remaining in that piece, but you're gonna fold that piece inside. So you can see here in the image, we have the little tab that sticks up from the folded side. And then when you fold it inside to the reverse, you're gonna have this little tab that sticks up inside the card. That is gonna be what holds up your alibrije when you open the card. The next thing the student should do is to decorate their alibrije. And this can be with glitter, with markers, with crayons, whatever they like and cut it out. It's always easier to color first and cut around later because then you have the background of the paper to save your tables or whatever the kids are coloring on. The next thing you're gonna do is attach the alibrije to the pop-up tab with glue. I like glue paste is the best, um, but liquid glue will also work. You may just have to wait a little while for it to dry before the, the children begin the next step. And you want to have the feet of the animal kind of the base of the image to the base of the tab so that not much of it gets folded over. It can be folded over, but if you want them to stand up at their max, you want to glue kind of the top part of the animal as high as you can. The next step is going to be for the students to decorate the backdrop of their alibrije. And I like to remind them of Pedro Linares' story, if you've also read that, which is attached in this lesson plan, and have them think about what Pedro was dreaming of when he dreamed those alibrijes were, were chanting to him, alibrije, alibrije. So then to imagine what this dreamlike place was like for, for Pedro. So when you have that done, you can just, um, you have your pop-up card, so you can open it up, you can see how the Ali Rihe pops up, you can see all the different materials that the students use, and they can give this to a neighbor or a loved one in the mail. Um, I don't think there's much better things than receiving a pop-up card. So enjoy, I hope you enjoyed this project, and I will begin now with the next project, which is an Ali Rihe storyboard that tells the story of Pedro Linares. This next project may seem very simple, but it's a good way to get your students or your children to link up what they've been hearing with an image in their mind. So read the story of Pedro Linares once or twice through for your students or for your children, and then have them imagine each stage of that process. You can see here we have a storyboard that's specifically made for Pedro Linares and his magical alibrijes. And so with each of the prompts, the students are gonna draw in the box what they've heard. Now this case can be just a simple drawing with pencil or pen, or you can make it more extravagant and make it with markers and crayons. The students can do this and then also use a blank storyboard to create their own stories. These are easily found uh, with a quick Google search and it's a good way to start if they're gonna create a play or um, do a storytelling time with their friends or siblings in their house. So this is a good way, and, and all students of any age can do this. Um, the younger students may just need help with you reading the prompts to them and helping them imagine what they see in the story. So thank you. And the next project that we're gonna go over are the Alibrije sculptures made from found objects. The next project we have for our alibrijes is an alibrije sculpture from found objects. And these found objects are gonna be ones that you find in nature. So if you need to get out of the house, take a walk around your apartment complex or your backyard, that's where I found my found objects. And you're gonna to see today that I have a rock and a branch and even some palm bar bar bark from a palm tree that I'm gonna be using to make my alibrije sculptures. And you can do this in one of two ways. You can let the objects kind of shape what the alibrije is gonna look like by finding the materials first and then um, using those to kind of think about and, and arrange an alibrije. Or you can start with paper and pencil first and you may let your students or your children decide and they can design their alibrije and then find objects that match what they need. Um, so once you have your objects and your design, you can see here that I did a symbol design um, based on my objects here. The first one is a um, piece of palm bark. And then I designed it and then I also said what colors I wanted each part to be so that I knew when I went to paint, it was a little bit easier for me because I had already thought through the design. And this might be good for your students to kind of imagine before they start what they want their final product to look like. And so, I painted my alibrije and I also selected what kind of animals I wanted. 
Um, as you know, in the dream, the animals that Pedro and Ignatius thought of were a combination of, of animals oftentimes. And you can also see this in our Smithsonian Learning Lab collection from um, our Uprooted Dreams installation. So in the first one, I have an antelope and a rabbit. And then we're going to move on to the second one where I used a rock and a stick to make a leopard scorpion. And this one was really fun to make. They both were really fun. Um, so the great thing about Ali Brijes and, and Ali Brijes sculptures is that there is no wrong Ali Brije. There's not a way that it looks bad. Anything looks like it's supposed to because Ali Brijes are imaginary. And so I used acrylic paint to paint my two sculptures. And acrylic paint's easy because it's easy to find and it is also pretty safe for all ages. And I painted my Ali Brijes and then I used a hot glue gun to glue on the scorpion tail for my leopard. And so you may want to think about what's safest for the age group that you have. If you have older students or children, teenagers, preteens, they could probably use the hot glue gun. But otherwise you might want to just do that part for your children if they're younger. Or give them something such as twine or liquid glue for them to attach their items. So thank you for joining us. I hope that you enjoyed those projects and we welcome your feedback. Please hashtag Mac Education on Instagram or Facebook and let us know what you think about them and let us see your projects. We're, we're really interested in hearing back and you can also contact us at our website um, listed below. So thank you all and happy art making.